Happy Sunday, Pinewood Kids! Who's ready for story time with Ollie? Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hi, everyone. I'm Hayden. My friends and I have been watching all the construction on our street. Yesterday, we saw an excavator. It looked just like this, but way, way, way taller. See how the arm can go back and forth? It's used to move things from one side of the road to the other. I'm using this to move the pom-poms from this pile over to the bowl. Would you like to play with me? Let's do it. What color should we choose first? Okay, a red one? Here we go. Bing! We did it! Should we choose blue or yellow next? Let's go with blue. Bing! This is so fun! Hoo! Hoo! It's Ollie! Hello, Hayden! Hoo, hoo. Choosing different colors, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We're playing this cool game where you get to pick a color of pom-pom and move it to the bowl. It can be fun to choose red or blue. I know someone who had to choose, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm Aisha. It's so good to see you today. I've been working on making the most amazing treats. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> they are my superfood veggie cakes filled with apples, zucchini, and oats. Mmm, mmm, healthy and delicious. I made them special because of today's story. If you're ready for it, on the count of three, Yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with the king of Babylon who had a very long name. Please welcome King Nebuchadnezzar. Now the king had a training program because he wanted the people working for him to be the very best. And he chose these guys to be in it. He wanted them to study and learn new things. He even wanted them to have all the fancy food and drink right from the king's table. But that was a problem for this guy. This is Daniel. Daniel loved and followed God. Back then, God had rules about what his people could eat. That means Daniel would have to say no to all the fancy food and drink on the king's table. That means Daniel would have to say no to the king. And people didn't usually say no to the king. But guess who had the power to help Daniel make the right choice? Yes, God! God has the power to help all of us make the right choice. And that day, God helped Daniel to make the right choice and follow God's rules. Daniel made the choice to only eat vegetables and drink water. Daniel told the king's servant that he didn't want the king's food. He only wanted to eat vegetables and drink water. No one knew what would happen when the servant told the king Daniel wasn't going to eat his food. But the king said, okay, <laughs> hooray. Wow, God is so powerful. He helped Daniel make the right choice and he wants to help us make the right choice too. Sometimes it can be hard to make the right choice. 
You can ask God to help you make the right choice and leave your uncle's guitar alone, even though you really want to touch it. You can ask God to help you wait when you really want a cookie before dinner. God can help you be excited for your friend when they get a new bike instead of being sad because you didn't get one. When we ask God to help us, He will. God is so powerful. He can help us make the right choice. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped Daniel make the right choice, and God's power can help us make the right choice too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God's power helped Daniel. God's power helps us make the right choice too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Now it's time to choose the next pom-pom. What color should it be? I'm choosing green. See you next time. Wasn't that a great story about Jesus? Now it's time to practice this month's new memory verse. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Great job, hikers. Let's practice until next Sunday. Now it's time to worship and dance. Stand up. Stand up. Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a way There's nothing He can't do No, there's nothing He can't do Cause He can do anything, anything at all Giant too big, no mountain too tall I know God is powerful, yeah, anything He can do anything, anything at all Only God can hang stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a Trust Him 
Wasn't that fun? Thanks for tuning in, hikers, and we'll see you next time.